Hey, this is Chris Mathis. I was sitting at home this morning and I was reading over some of my notes from other speakers that I follow. And I come across a quote that has been with me for a very long time and has helped me through some of my toughest times as well. And I want to share it with you. The quote is, life is a fight for territory. And once you stop fighting for what you want, what you don't want will automatically take over. Now, you see, there's so much power behind those words and, and within that quote. And it inspired me to want to share it with you and, and make this short video. You see, right now, someone is struggling. Someone that's watching this video is going through something. And they're looking for a way to make it through. So let me go ahead and give you just a few encouraging words. And if it's okay with you, I just want to start by being honest with you. Is that okay? <laughs> I just want to be honest and say life is hard. <laughs> I mean, let's just be for real. Life is hard. And I don't mean that lightly. What I mean by that is it's not easy getting up every morning and going to a job that you don't feel appreci appreciates what you do. It's not easy getting up every day and looking at your bank account and there isn't enough money there to cover the bills for the month. It's not easy when even worse, the, over the, the account is overdrawn into the negative. And it's hard when you have all of these things happening and your marriage is going through problems or your relationship is having through problems or, or maybe you're on the verge of divorce or, or maybe the kids are having problems in school and you feel like you're just losing your mind through all of this. It's hard and it's not easy surviving and, and, and fighting your way and pushing through when you have these obstacles happening around you. So what I've learned is when these things happen in life, this is when life has become a fight for territory. It's a fight between you and life. And life stands for, this is my acronym, life stands for living in fear of excelling. Life's goal is to keep you on your back. Life's goal is to stop you from reaching your goal or your dream because they know if you reach your goal or your dream, you're going to do something great. Life knows this about you. And so that's the reason why these problems and these obstacles and these struggles, this is why this happens for you in your life. And this is when life becomes a fight for territory. And you also must focus on what you want because when you stop focusing on what you want, what you don't want will automatically take over. So through this process, you must continuously remind yourself every day of what's possible for your life and what the goal is that you want to accomplish. And yes, life is going to happen. And yes, I know these things are going to be tough and they're going to be hard. I understand that because I've been there. But you must stay focused. You must remember that even though these things are happening around you, they cannot determine your true identity. They cannot determine who you truly are. And that reminds me of a story about a guy who attends a slave auction. And he's there and he, he sees this huge guy over in the corner all shackled up. And the guy is just pacing the room with his chest out and his shoulders back. <laughs> and I mean, he's, he's walking around like he owns the place or something. You know what I mean? And he, the, auction guy, the auction guy goes over to the auctioneer and he, he says, hey, hey, that, that, that slave over there, that's the one I want to purchase. And he says, you talking about that big guy over there in the corner? And he said, yeah, that's the one I want. He says, well, <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, he's not for sale. He says, wait a second. What do you mean he's not for sale? That's the, that's the one I want. He says, I'm, I'm sorry, but you can't have him because he's not for sale. Can't you see he's different? And the auction guy says, what do you mean he's different? What's so different about him? And he says, even though he's covered in, or covered in, in lashes and he's in shackles, and he's been whipped most of his life. Even though he has these things happening, he still believes he's a prince. Because he knows in Africa, his father is a king. And he still knows that. And so because of those things, he walks like a prince. He talks like a prince. And he acts and works like a prince. Here's my point. Even though you've had these things happen in your life, even though you've had problems and obstacles and challenges and struggles that have all come up around you, even though all of these things have happened and it's made life hard and, and now you're in the process of your fight with life, these things cannot determine your true identity. They can't determine who you are. They can't determine who you truly are. So you must believe that even though these things have happened, they are not who you are. And you must be willing to go to the door of life and knock and say, life, I want in. 
And you see, here is the part that most people fail to, to continue forward on for whatever reason may be. I believe that, that their problems and their struggles eventually get the best of them. What happens is so many people go to the door and they knock. Well, I guess no one's home. And they leave and they give up on their goal or their dream. You see, what you must be willing to do is you must be willing to go to the door and you got to knock and keep knocking and keep knocking until life lets you in. I mean, think about it this way. <laughs> if, if, if I showed up at your house this morning at 7 a.m. and I knocked on your door and you don't feel like getting out of bed, then you don't get up and come and get the door. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty obvious. But what if I show up at your door at 7 a.m. and I just keep knocking and I just keep knocking and I'm not going to stop knocking until you get out of bed and you come and get the door. Eventually, you're going to come to the door and you're going to be thinking to yourself, man, who is this knocking at my door? <laughs> and you're going to be forced to get out of bed to come and find out who it is because I'm not going to stop. That's the same way we must be about our goals. You have to go to the door. You got to keep knocking and knocking and knocking. And eventually life is going to say, you know what? This, this person just won't stop. Let's just let them in. We'll find somebody else to pick on. <laughs> so, so in the pursuit for your goals, you got to go to that door and keep knocking. You see, for me to get into this business of speaking, it took me 13 years to get to this point. I started this journey a long time ago of, of becoming who I am today. And through that process, it was hard. It was not easy. There was a lot of roadblocks. There was a lot of stumbles. There was a lot of falls and, and struggles. And there was a lot of time when there was no one there to help me get up. There was a lot of times where I had to do it by myself. And so my point of saying all that to you is life is a fight for territory. And once you stop fighting for what you want, what you don't want will automatically take over. You see, a lot of you have heard my story, and then there's many of you who have not. I spent four years of my life in a basement, a dark basement. And there was a point in my life where I had just given up. I didn't believe that I had what it takes to reach the next level. And what I did was I allowed my problems and all the obstacles around me to eventually win me over and convince me that I can't win this race. I can't win. And I had to be willing to come up out of that basement. I had to be willing to give it another shot. I had to be willing to go back one more time and knock at that door of success until they let me in. And that's what I did. And so I'm saying to you, right now, there's someone watching this video who is dealing with something in life. They're in a struggle. They're in a fight for territory. And they're on the verge of losing because they're allowing their problems to distract them from their goals. I say to you, life is a fight for territory. And once you stop fighting for what you want, what you don't want will automatically take over. I hope that something in this video has encouraged you to keep fighting. I hope that something that I said has motivated, inspired, and, and educated you to continue to move forward on this journey through life. And understand that even though life stands for living in fear of excelling and its goal is to hold you down, that if you're willing to go to the door of success and lock and knock long enough, eventually the door will open for you. So hopefully you found some bit of encouragement. I appreciate your time. Please take a moment, visit my website, watch some of the other videos that I have. Check out my products with a new audio on the way. Please definitely check me out. Send me an email. Let's definitely talk. Let me know what I can do to be of help to you on this journey for your dreams. Thank you.